Hey guys, welcome back to a new week of my food and meal prep. If you are new here to my channel, I have an entire playlist of these videos linked down below. I'm making some curry chicken salad. I've got two huge chicken breasts that I seared up and I'm gonna finish cooking them in the oven and I'm gonna show you guys how I assemble the rest of the salad. All right guys, so I've got my celery and onion already cut up. I'm gonna add some golden raisins and then obviously mayo and the um, curry powder, which makes it curry chicken salad and I, I really enjoy just putting the raisins in um, anytime I make this. You could also use regular um, purple raisins if you don't have the golden ones. This is just what I look, prefer to use um, when I'm making this. I love this chicken salad. It's really good, um, especially if you like curry. If you're not a curry fan, you probably won't like it. But yeah, I'm going to wait for the chicken to come out of the oven, cut it up, and bring it together. Alright guys, so these are out of the oven and they have to sit and rest for a bit. Um, and just cool down. So I'm going to get them off the tray onto the cutting board, let them rest for a little bit, and then I'm going to cut them up. All right, guys, I have my chicken all cut up, and I'm just going to let it cool off for a little while longer, and then um, go ahead and toss everything together. But yeah, you just want to let it cool off so it's not too hot, um, and it's just nice and like room temperature before you mix it all together. All right, guys, chicken's in. I'm going to do a little pink salt, a little cracked black pepper, I'm going to go ahead and get my mayo in by just using Hellman's regular mayo. Just going to spread this all around and then mix everything from the bottom, which is the onions, the celery, and the golden raisins in. Just going to give it a little stir. And then I'm going to add my curry in last. Needs a little bit more mayo. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get my curry in. I'm going to start with about that much. I can usually tell by the color. I'm just going to keep stirring this and I'll show you guys the color that you want. Alright guys, curried chicken salad is done. I would say this is about... Uh, a pound and a half total um, maybe yeah I would say about a pound and a half this is um, based on how much chicken I used I used two large chicken breasts uh, but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead put this in the fridge and it's good to go for wraps or sandwiches um, I also like to put just a scoop of this on a bed of lettuce um, so it's good for a quick lunch for the week so I'm gonna move on now and keep chipping away at my list Next up, I'm just doing a batch of hard-boiled eggs. I do these, I don't know, maybe every other week or so, and I usually do between six to eight eggs. So I just brought them to a boil, let them sit covered for 15 to 20 minutes, and peeled them, sliced them, and I just put simple salt and pepper this week. Sometimes I will do the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning, which is really good on hard-boiled eggs. But this week, again, I just went with salt and pepper. And these are really good just to grab and go for a quick snack of protein. They're also great to have as a side for breakfast or to chop up on salads. I really just like the diversity of them and I like having them ready to have to grab and go. Uh, next up I am just going to bag these up. I usually do four halves per bag so two whole eggs and have them in little ziplocs and it's just so convenient. This week I left two little uh, halves out because Matt said save me one so I can eat it so that's why the final two didn't get bagged up. Hey guys, so it is now a different Sunday. The footage you saw previously was from a previous meal slash food prep. Um, some clips that I got that I actually lost and refound. So this is a different week. I have some pesto, herb, garlic, marinated chicken breast that Matt grilled up. It's a really nice day out. And I'm actually gonna make up some food prep salads. I actually wanna make three of them. So I've got some romaine. I've got some strawberries, I've got cucumbers, tomato, and whatever else I throw on there. So it's kind of going to be like a grilled chicken strawberry salad. And I want to do three of them. Two for my lunches for Monday and Tuesday. One day will be at the office that I'm working at. And the other day will probably be on the go or at home if I have a break between jobs. So 
I'm letting this cool off. I'm gonna cut everything up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so here is how the salads came out. I'm using this Panera at Home Fuji Apple Vinaigrette Dressing. So I've got a salad for tomorrow for Monday's lunch for me, possibly Tuesday. And then I do wanna give one to my husband at some point this week coming up. I put the dressing in these little Sistema containers. And this one, I have to get a little bit bigger of a container because I wanna do ranch and Matt likes a little bit heavier when it's a ranch one. So I'll do the ranch one for Matt. The other ones are ready to go. I did some chopped romaine, some tomato, black olive, some of the mini cucumbers, some fresh strawberries. I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese and the chicken tastes delicious. It's really well marinated and it's just gonna be a nice, light, delicious, quick and easy lunch for us for the week. All right guys, the next thing I'm doing this week is some, well, I'm doing, I'm gonna make a couple things from this. So I've got some two large sweet potatoes I'm gonna bring to a boil and then I'm gonna do like mashed sweet potatoes as a side. I only had two large ones, otherwise I would have done probably three. And then I have a skillet here that I'm preheating. I'm gonna go ahead and brown up a pound of ground turkey and add some seasonings and cauliflower and mushrooms I'm kind of cleaning out. Uh, my produce drawer, which is I have cauliflower to use up. I have some mushrooms that I got buy one get one this morning at the grocery store So I want to go ahead and use some of those some onion some garlic and then just kind of make a couple meals so my plan is probably have a lunch for myself today um, of this meal the sweet potatoes and the turkey and when the veggies and then I'm gonna hopefully freeze a couple individual meals of the same thing for lunches the reason I'm freezing it is I made salads and I'm gonna think I'm gonna make a couple more salads I have some shrimp now um, and I I just I know that I won't be getting to this lunch wise until towards the end of the week like Thursday Friday type thing so I'm gonna freeze a couple meals so I have an option but yeah I'm gonna bring these to a boil and get the turkey going all right guys so I've got mushrooms cauliflower and an onion ready to go I have to start breaking this up the sweet potatoes are boiling so I'm gonna keep moving this train along all right guys veggies are in turkey is draining I added some low sodium Worcestershire sauce some garlic paste some onion salt and I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper and some black pepper as well all right guys turkey skillet is done it actually tastes really good very garlicky and the Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce was perfect in it. And the veggies are nice and soft, but still have a little bit of bite to them, which is what I like. Sweet potatoes are all done. So I'm actually going to have a bowl of this right now because I am starving. And then I will show you guys what these look like plated up in individual portions that I'm going to stick in the freezer. All right, guys. So here are the meals. I just had lunch, by the way. And here are the two meals that I'm going to throw in the freezer. I've done this many times before and I've never had an issue. So what I, what I am going to do is put the top on these. It's like a sealable top. I'm gonna freeze them and then for example I'm planning on having one of these on Thursday so what I'll do is Wednesday night when I go to bed I will take one of these out of the freezer and put it in the fridge so it kind of thaws in the fridge and then and then in the morning I will take it out leave it on the counter bring it to work and then it will thaw throughout the morning and then I can just heat it up because I'm working at my office job on Thursday so that's the game plan I did the mashed sweet potatoes they came out delicious I just added a little bit of butter salt and pepper and I put a little bit of ground cinnamon on top and the actual turkey veggie mixture was delicious I just housed a whole plate of it literally and a little bit of the sweet potatoes as well so yeah just kind of trying to set myself up a little bit more this week since I'm gonna be working outside the home for a first time for the first time in a while so yeah I think what I'm gonna do last in this video is make a couple shrimp salads because I have so much excess romaine lettuce that I, I like to use it when it's fresh so I'm gonna chop that up get it washed and make some shrimp salad so I'll show you guys that next all right guys here are the salads for the next couple days or probably going to have to use these before the chicken because shrimp has a shorter shelf life for the dressing i used the planted organics raspberry oregano which is one of my favorite dressings it's concentrated so you only need the tiniest amount for a whole salad and then i have this one on deck the Planet Organics Coconut Ginger. I absolutely love these dressings. They are just delicious. So I've got them ready to go, whether one for me and one for Matt or whatever combination it ends up being. But yeah, definitely gonna be on a big salad kick this week. 
I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these random clips from the past few weeks. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't know, I don't wanna do a whole lot of meal prep, food prep videos because a lot of times I do the same things, which is chicken salad, egg salad, hard boiled eggs, stuff like that. So I know every week is a little bit different, so I will go ahead and keep filming clips here and there when I can and share them with you. But right now I'm just trying to focus on my main three series, which is grocery haul, meal plan, what's for lunch and what's for dinner. So you guys will see obviously these in an upcoming lunch video. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day guys, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.